Hey guys, this is Kirk here, and uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you one simple way that you can find some really low competition keywords or keyword phrases, or sometimes it's zero competition keyword phrases, so that you can use them to blog or to use it in your website. And basically, if you use these keywords and if you follow the um, uh, basic on-page SEO uh, 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 factors, okay, then you can easily rank your website in Google search results in the first page with that that keywords, okay, very very easy, okay. But uh, of course, if you don't know what is on-page SEO, actually you can go this link and try this out. You know what is on-page SEO, <clears throat> but I'm not going to talk about this in this video, okay, and. Uh, I believe that most of you guys would uh, find keywords in Google Keyword Planner, right? And I believe that most of you have some problem that to find some keywords that have real low competition. Because sometimes, let's say if I search the keyword how to make money online in Google Keyword Planner, even though, even though there are some keywords that keyword Google, Google Keyword Planner, show that it has a low competition. But actually, is this keywords really have low competition? It may not. If you use this keyword to block, most probably, or sometimes, or most of the time, maybe your 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 article would just show up in the maybe 11 pages, or sometimes the 20 pages of Google with these keywords. So. Is there a uh, a way or certain way that you can find some keywords that have really low competition? Of course, we we don't necessarily find some really really low competition keywords because uh, some of you know how to build backlinks or how to do some off page off page SEO. <coughs> but uh, of course, you know that if you mistakenly to find us some high competition keywords and you have to spend so much time you use so much time or have you have to do so much work to rank it in the first page of google or sometimes you can't even rank it in the first three position and uh, even you go go to that position maybe a few days later you just go back to the fifth page okay it happens it always happens right so we would like to find some really, really low competition keywords to block. And of course, if you still decided to use some high competition keywords, it's your choice. But at least you want to know what is your competitor and how strong are they, right? So we will actually use one software to solve this problem, okay? And this software is called Longtail Pro. You can actually search it in Google and uh, you can just find the website and install the uh, software and uh, you, you have a 10 day free trial, 10 days free trial, okay? And of course, if your uh, 10 days free trial is, has expired, then just use an other email to register and other free trials. Then you can use it unlimitedly, right? So first of all, uh, you gotta find some keywords to test it. How about use this uh, 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 how to make money online wiki, <clears throat> right? It seems that it has a low competition and it seems that uh, it has a really, really low average monthly searches. And uh, seem, it seems that not many people will use it to block, right? So let's search it in our long tail pro. So <clears throat> when you install the Longtail Pro, you uh, 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 just click it and use it. And then you can click this competitor analyst and then put the keywords here and click analyze. Then it will show you the first 10 websites in Google search results of these keywords. Okay, uh, of course, I saw the results in a specific country, and uh, you, if you target other countries, you can uh, uh, change it. Okay, and of course, in this video, I'll show you 
or results in uh, United States, right? So you will find the first 10 results <coughs> that show up in Google. And uh, you can see that the first four website is from WikiHow, right? Of course, it because it, it, it showed that WikiHow. And uh, it showed that this WikiHow webpage has 10, 221 page lengths, okay? And 160 juice page lengths. The difference between page lengths and juice page lengths is uh, page length is the back length that we detected with this uh, website and juice page length is the actual back length that really giving juice that means that really giving traffic to this to this website okay so the real back length that is really useful for this uh, uh, website is only 160 okay and uh, you can find the domain authority that means that uh, 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 the higher the domain authority, <coughs> then you you can uh, rank your stuff easier, right? And of course, they have a most rank. And if you don't know what is most rank, actually you can search in Google. Then you know that the higher the score is, then the easier this website to rank higher. And also the page rank of the domain, okay? And uh, of course, if you find that. <coughs> All of your competitor with the specific keywords have high page rank or they have the higher page rank than your website then most probably you don't want to uh, try to mess with them because it's just a waste of time because you use if you you know if most of your competitor have the page rank maybe three or four or five even five or six and you have low page rank in your for your website the most probably you are not able to rank it high, right? And uh, the site, the age of it, of the site, and uh, it's sh it just so that <coughs> how long does this does this uh, domain exist uh, 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 in in the internet? But I don't think this is a main factor that affect the uh, uh, the ranking of of your website. Okay, so if you try to use this keyword to rank your article then most probably you will need to have a uh, at least you need to have a uh, larger numbers of backlinks which is some useful backlinks to uh, beat them down right and uh, you, you can't have a very very low PR for your website okay and uh, basically, if you have this for <coughs> wikihow.com in this in this uh, 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 keywords competitors, I would not use this keyword to to rank your stuff because more than forty five percent of the traffic, I would say, is gained by the number one position number one. So actually, the rest of them is is gained by the two and three if you rank in the far in the in the fifth place or you know below the fifth place you can hardly gain any traffic from that so basically I, I won't use this keywords if if the average monthly search is only 30 right so let's find another keywords to search it okay so <coughs> actually uh, why I want to sh I, I show this page for you guys actually you can use this page it's called alexa.com slash what's hot okay uh, it is act is actually uh, a page that show you the keywords that show up in the in on the internet in the last five minutes that have the most traffic and most people will search it on the internet so actually I find one keyword that is really awesome today and this is called splits splits and uh, actually this keywords or this splits is uh, is a new reading ad 
reading, reading apps, reading apps that could help people to uh, read faster. And uh, I'm not going to explain what what was this app, but uh, <coughs> actually I find something really cool with this keyword. Okay, so let's search this keyword in Google Keyword Planner and see how many um, search results it has. So Google Keyword Planner so that it has average monthly searches around 50,000 and if you see the uh, uh, last month there is around 40,000 40, uh, search results 40,000 searches <coughs> in last month it's pretty good and pretty high and uh, of course uh, Google showed that the competition is low here but I believe most of the people if they have used Google Keyword Planner for a longer time then they would not try to use these keywords with such a high monthly search because they don't believe that they won't believe that they won't believe that that this keyword is really low competition right but we have to clarify it whether this keyword is uh, is have a high or low competition right so let's check this out in <coughs> Longtail Pro so try to analyze it and this is some this is quite amazing I think this keyword is, is quite amazing because with that high search searches amount in a month but this keyword seems that it has very very weak competitor I mean weak competitor because you see that basically they have no backlinks for the site right and uh, at least they don't have any backlinks that is giving them traffic and uh, so actually you can very very easily beat them okay if you try if you know how to how to build some useful backlinks okay and you see that uh, the page authority is uh, <coughs> basically very low and the only one the fourth one is of course is Wikipedia so it has a high page authority right and uh, let's see the domain authority although most of them is uh, you know have a pretty high scores here but uh, because domain authority is not a very big factor that affect the ranking of of the of of the website although it it, it still have some uh, contribution to your ranking but it's not the biggest one okay actually it's quite small right and uh, see the most rank except the Wikipedia one none of them has the most rank and except the Wikipedia one none of them have page rank that means they, they, they have zero page rank with, with this website okay and as I said before the site age is nonsense you don't need to care about it <coughs> so that means that if you use these keywords today if you use it today to to block it or to use it in your website as a as a keywords to block about it <coughs> okay and you you follow all the on-page SEO strategies then it is very very easy to rank it in the first page and even sometimes I can tell you sometimes you can rank it in number one very easy and very fast maybe just a few days okay and of course uh, if you you find this video I believe that you know what is long tail keywords we won't just use these keywords to you as an anchor text right you may use uh, <coughs> you may use spirit reading app as a long tail keywords you know it's your choice and you still find that <coughs> the competitor is really really weak okay so this is how we find 
Well, this is how we certainly find some keywords that have low competition or zero competition. Okay, and of course you have to find it by yourself. You have to try and error. You have to do research with these tools. But uh, at least, at least you don't have to waste time to blog about something, blog about keywords. And you, you guess you can have, you can rank it in number one, but actually you don't, and actually you can't, and you have to do so much work to rank it higher. You know, you don't need to do it. You just find some really low competition keywords and with high searches. Okay, so that's it for this video. And uh, as I said before, if you want to learn what is on-page SEO, <clears throat> you can click the link below this video and you can find it okay so i hope this not hope this i believe this tools this video could really help you to rank your stuff to rank your article really good okay so that's it for this video and uh, see you guys later bye